Biology of the Pelicans The pelican is one of the most fascinating species in the bird kingdom. It is a water bird that is characterized by the long beak and the large throat pouch. It is known for a fact that the pelican is a very large bird. It is also heavy. There are different species of pelicans and they are all of different sizes. The largest species is known as the Dalmatian pelican and it is found in Eastern Europe, India, and China. On the other hand, the smallest species is called the brown pelican, and it is found in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. All species of pelicans have long beaks and large throat pouches. The pelican is widely distributed in the world. It is believed that pelicans originated from the fossil of a tectonic bird known as the progenus. The progenus lived in the later part of the Oligocene epoch, which is said to be 23 to 34 million years ago. Pelicans belong to the family known as Pelicanida. They are further subdivided into six genera. All species of pelicans have the same features like the long beak and large throat pouch. The beak is long, the upper part is curved down, and the lower one is flat. The throat pouch has a huge capacity. Although it is normal for the stomach to be pulled to the ground, where the pouch is filled with fish and water, Researchers have found that pelicans store just 3% of their body fats in the pouch. The throat pouch is not used as a food storage place. The pelican's legs are short and of the same color as the beak. The feet have webbed toes. This is an indication that pelicans are aquatic birds that swim a lot. The coloration in pelicans is due to pigments. The pelican's skin is often dark gray, black or white as a result of the pigments. Sometimes, the skin color ranges from red to yellow. Pelicans are social animals. They often live and hunt in groups. When you find one pelican hunting, there is a high possibility that others are around. The white pelican will have a small flock, but the brown pelican flocks are often larger. They can have over 100 birds in a single flock. Pelicans are known for their will to help each other. For example, when pelicans are in a group, they will work together to shepherd fish into a small volume of water, and then everyone will be able to eat. Pelicans also show interesting manners in other activities as well. For example, pelicans often bathe together by dipping and shaking their heads and necks in water. Pelicans are also known for their incredible eyesight. A brown pelican can spot a fish that is just under the water. When they fly at the height of 60 to 70 feet, and a fish comes within 8 to 10 feet from the surface of the water, the pelican will be able to see and catch the fish. Pelicans are also great flyers. Pelicans often fly in a V formation, and this is said to help the birds save some energy. Pelicans are big eaters. For example, a common pelican will need to eat about 4 pounds of fish a day. However, in general, pelicans eat a variety of fish. Some species eat small fishes, while others eat the big ones. When the white pelican is diving to catch the fish, the brown pelican dives bill first. The variation in the diet and the different diving methods imply that pelicans have diverse feeding adaptations. Evolutionary History of Pelicans Starting around 50 million years ago, early pelicans lived in warm regions of the world. Over time, some migrated to inland freshwater habitats. Others made a home near the coast or on small islands. Throughout this long period of time, pelicans have changed and modernized. We call this type of change evolution. However, it does not happen quickly. Instead, evolution is a very slow process that takes thousands or even millions of years produce major changes to a kind of animal. It happens through a series of small changes, with each new variation in a kind of animal being kept and built upon by future generations. In fact, modern pelicans remain very similar to some of the pelicans that lived over 30 million years ago. There have been some changes, such as the loss of bony plates on their feet and a reduction in wing size. However, many of the features that make pelicans unique from other birds have been around for a very long time. For example, ancient pelicans had the same stretchy skin on their throat and the same large bill for catching and eating fish as modern pelicans. Over millions of years, the slow process of evolution has fine-tuned pelican bodies and behavior for the things they need to survive and make baby pelicans. This makes them well-suited to their environment.
as the design of pelicans is the result of millions of years of changes and adaptations. Anatomy and Physical Characteristics Pelicans are large birds with expandable throat pouches and a distinct long beak that ends with a huge hooked nail. Also, it has the shortest legs among other birds, but yet pelicans are able to fly and glide in the air for a long period of time. Admirably, pelicans' wingspan could reach up to 3 meters, and their wings are powered by strong chest muscles. Pelicans are also decent swimmers as the short and strong legs are used for pushing the birds through the water. And also, unlike the webbed feet of many water birds, each of the pelican's toes is separate and has all four toes webbed. One of the outstanding physical characteristics of pelicans is the presence of gular pouch, a large pouch of skin that is connected to the lower part of the pelican's long beak. This distensible pouch is used for catching prey, particularly fish, and then it could hold a large volume of water and can drain out the water, leaving behind the fish. The sunken eyes located near the base of the beak are focused on the sides and the front, giving them a wide visual field. Pelicans also have the ability to contract blood vessels and reduce heat loss from the areas of their legs and feet. Near the pectoral muscles and the thigh areas, there is a counter-current heat exchange system that are ideal for retaining body heat and maintaining a suitable body temperature for various metabolic processes. It is also important to highlight the unique physical characteristic of totopalmate foot in pelicans. The totopalmate foot is a type of bird's foot in which each of the four toes has a connecting web of waterproof skin. This arrangement is essential for pelicans because they are often seen in the sea or in water body in which the webbed feet is adapted for comfortable swimming. Feeding habits and hunting techniques. Pelicans are carnivorous birds. They feed primarily on fish, but their diet may also include crustaceans, amphibians, and small reptiles. They are surface feeders that take their prey with head-first dives from the water surface. The feeding method for pelicans is quite unique as it requires the coordination of the entire group. They hunt in a group, and a group of pelicans is called a fleet. First, a number of these birds will form a line and drive fish into the shallows. During this driving process, pelicans often beat their wings on the water surface to frighten the fish to shallow water. Then the pelicans will gather in a circle and start to tramp the water with their webbed feet. This tramping action can effectively disorient and force the fish to one direction. With fish corralled into a compact mass, the pelicans will lunge forward with bill and throat pouch wide open to scoop fish up. Also, pelicans have a specialized Euler pouch, which is actually a long, extendable, and down-slopping bill. The huge throat pouch of a pelican can hold up to three gallons of water. Additionally, both hunting and flying are very strenuous activities for these birds. It was found that a juvenile pelican may require approximately 1,500 grams of fish per day, which is about 60% of their body weight. Because pelicans spend great lengths of time on the wing, thus, fishing or feeding period is usually followed by a long rest. This is crucial to a bird's digestion. If you disturb a pelican during its rest, you might drive it to abandon its meal, which will cause the bird to use its own reserves for energy, which may be quite harmful to the bird. There are eight different species of pelicans. All of them live in inland and coastal water of warm regions on every continent, except Antarctica. Each species has its own feeding and hunting habits. For example, the brown pelican in the Americas often plunge dives from the air into the water to catch its prey. On the other hand, the great white pelican in Africa and Eurasia commonly forms into a line of a dozen or more birds. Then each pelican drives fish into shallow area from one side as they all move closely towards to the other end of the fish. So, the pelicans do hunt and feed in cooperation with good organization through all the stages. Now you go to the internet as I know you were going to, make sure that you verify your sources well before using any information. Well, I can tell you with great pride that out of the eight species of pelicans, our state bird, the brown pelican, is the one that is known for the most fascinating and unique feeding habit and diving skill due to their physical and anatomical difference from other species.
Breeding and Reproduction As previously mentioned, pelicans are highly social animals and breed in large colonies, which can consist of several hundred or even multiple thousands of birds. The breeding season, which is initiated by the increasing day length in spring, is very impressive. During this time, a lot of interactions between the birds can be observed. Pairs will unite or reunite during the breeding season, and they go through a quite long and complex courtship behavior. This behavior begins with the so-called group formation, when a large number of birds gather at some point in the colony and start pointing their bills skywards, stretching their neck and making a noise, known as nod swiveling. This results in a lot of fuss and movement around, even fights between neighboring males occur. When finally the pairs are formed, the so-called pair formation starts. This is the phase when these birds spend a lot of time together, displaying, preening, head swinging, and honking to each other. After the pair bond between a male and a female has become established, and they have chosen a nesting site, the copulation occurs. This is the end of the courtship behavior, and the birds start with the next important steps, such as nest building, egg laying, and chick feeding. Pelicans are one of the few species that have the ability to produce their own food in their throat pouch. The throat pouch can become bright red during courtship, and the skin surrounding the eyes can lose its color, making the eyes appear pale, almost like albino animals. Additionally, the skin surrounding the eyes will become more slack, providing space for the enlargement of the eye, since the increased size of the eyes is necessary for efficient binocular depth perception which is very important to accurately judge distances during feeding. Moreover, the bright red color in the pouch and the greatly slack eye skin are typical and markedly visible in adult pelicans during the breeding season. Hence, there is no doubt that those are some of the most efficiently adaptive and conspicuous physiological changes within the bird's life. I was impressed by the green top notch and the pink legs which both males and females can develop during the breeding season since this can be regarded as sexual selection. That is a characteristic that increases the ability of an individual to attract the other sex. I assume that this could be the case of several structural differences between males and females with sexual dimorphism, such as differences in body size and head morphology. After the first breeding success in Hungarian colonies in 2006, the colony sizes increased rapidly. This, however, has raised concerns over an associated rapid decline of the important and sensitive habitats at Lake Velens. This includes the nesting and feeding grounds as well. Despite lots of efforts spent on conservation measures, more and more pelican colonies were established in Hungary and are still increasing. In the meantime, new breeding grounds in the neighboring countries, such as Austria and Slovakia, have been founded which poses further challenges for the long-term maintenance of these species in Europe. Conservation measures and research in this area are still ongoing and are important for a sustainable protection of the great white pelican colonies in Europe.